lonely. And I don't know, I think that's something everybody can relate to. Anyone who's picked up and moved across the world and is here now with us. That woman too, yeah, she's got a few scars. What do you think is the biggest driving force behind man one? He's a leader. Like, the biggest thing is that he's a leader. I think that he comes from just a troubled childhood. You know, we both didn't have great dads. He wants to lead, and he doesn't know how to lead, and he talks about his mom telling him, you know, son, you'll never have people ever really yeah. have great life. The character that, that I play is, she's, at times, her story's a little bit tragic. She's just that typical girl who wants to be forever hopeful, and wants to always bring that not only into her own life, but into everybody else's, and she struggles to understand when people aren't that way, yeah. aren't, aren't filled with hope, or uh, are in fact the opposite when they're just negative people or whatever. Through the course of her life, she seems to be constantly facing a new mountain or a new river to cross that is a real test of her hope and her faith, I guess, in the belief that there can be a great life out there for her somewhere and that she can find love. She wants to find love. She wants to be loved. She wants to have someone who openly shows her that they love her. And she uses a whole lot of different techniques and different thought processes to try and persuade herself that her reasoning and her desire for everything that she wants in life isn't crazy and that it is in fact possible. I think there's a reoccurring theme from her of readiness. I don't think she really knows what that is. I don't think she 100% knows what's required in order to be ready. Does anyone ever really know that? <laughs>
to the store and he burned it to the ground. And then I met this girl named Lisa on a couch that I flew you. And then she transferred to McAllister, which was just as well, because Amy never knew.
by yourself. 